It's Justin here with Summit Racing over at Race Tech Pistons, checking out some cool new pistons that they brought to the show. So we're here with Trey. You know, it's nice to see you again. It's always a fun time to work with you. I always learn something new. Excellent. Now you brought a couple new pistons to the show for the bow tie and the Hemi boy. So let's start with the Hemi piston first and run us through what's cool about this piston. Okay, yeah, sure. So we've got a whole new series of uh, Gen 3 Hemi pistons that we're bringing out. Uh, the Hemis have a, a unique challenge in that the Hemi valve layout brings them real close to the top ring groove on the piston. To add to that, the OE pistons, they keep raising the rings for emissions purposes, but it also gives you even less real estate there for strength. So if you're gonna make any real power, you really need to address the piston. And so we take the things we know about making pistons and all of those, incorporate them into a design that will allow the guys to have a trouble-free and a good experience with their build. You know, Gen 3 Hemi is hot as ever, especially in the power adder world. You know, they love nitrous, they oh, love yeah. those blowers, <laughs> and to see a lot of guys doing cool stuff with them, you're gonna need a great piston for those abuse situations when you're really hopping these things up. Exactly, some guys are still on learning curve. I mean, they are newer, there's a lot more. You know, the LS crowd's been doing it for quite a bit longer. They've broken the boxes on the Hemis and they're doing really great stuff, but, that we've built into these pistons some strengths and features that make it so that they can have that novice learning curve and still have a good experience. And so uh, there's a, a lot of technology goes into it and a lot of good history and, and that behind what it is we're building into the pistons for them. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys come out next with in the Gen 3 Hemi world. I'm sure it's gonna be even more amazing. Now, moving on, you have a brand new 5.3 piston here as well. And you know, LS is awesome, it's fantastic. We're seeing a ton of stuff with it, but this one is a little bit different. You wanna run us through? Yeah, so there's a couple of things. First off, you'll notice this thing's got a pretty healthy dome on it. Uh, the LS market, modern muscle in general, has been a heavily boosted market, but guys are more and more wanting to build NA motors. And so this one here, being a 5.3, it needs a little more to get some good compression ratio into it. But there's a couple of other th reasons we came up with this new series of the 5.3 pistons. We've got um, a number of these guys doing uh, what everybody calls the junkyard dog builds. You know, they go and get a 5.3, they put a couple of good, you know, gasket studs and a piston in it, and then flog it. Either like the, this application could see some good nitrous. We've also got dish pistons for these for the guys that are putting on a, an affordable turbo and just, they boost them until they blow them up and then go get another one. These pistons enable them, same same scenario, they keep raising the rings up higher uh, on, the, on the pistons for emissions purposes. And if you're really gonna go after it, you, you've gotta address the piston. And so that's what this is kind of built around is being able to help those guys have a good experience and have some fun with it. Man, that is really cool. And you're right, that is as hot as ever, you know, uh, cam, some lifters, a set of valve springs, and a uh, you know an affordable turbo, and you're off to the races. And you can swap an LS just about into everything. So yep. this is going to allow for some new, fun, healthy abuse, and you're not going to have to worry about you know busting ring lands or anything like that. It, exactly, and and in both of these cases, we're partnering with our brothers over at Scat and doing rotating assemblies for these guys. So when the guy is ready to do maybe a little bit more displacement, you know, with a stroke or crank and that. We've, we've got these worked in some rotating assemblies so that they can also take that next step when, when they're ready. That's so cool. You know, you can't beat a program like this with pistons, rods, and cranks that'll grow with you as you crave more power. Exactly. Now, I have to ask, when is this stuff gonna be available? So these are available right now. Yeah, they're on the shelf right now. So head over to summitracing.com and see our full offering of race tech pistons. You know, they have something for just about everybody. And if you're not sure exactly what you need, call into our customer service line and they'll be able to get you the piston for your application. So until next time, guys, I'm Justin with Summit Racing. We have Trey here with Race Tech Pistons and we'll see you guys later.